Don't get me wrong. The best way to respond to comments is always to do it manually, but you get to a point where comments just keep rolling in and you can't handle them. For that, we're going to need a tool to help us respond to these comments in a manual and an automation form. This one is called Repliant, and right now they got a good deal going on. So let me show you how Repliant works and you get to decide if it's the right fit for you or not. So let's get started. What's up, everyone? So this is Repliant, and it's practically a game changer once you have a bunch of comments that you can't respond to. This will work on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I think this is especially useful when you are on TikTok. If you have a good subject on TikTok, man, comments just keep rolling in one after another. So getting help responding to those comments is definitely a great idea. So replying is super easy to use, super easy to connect and super easy to start using it, right? So this is my main dashboard and I have connected two of my channels. I've only connected two YouTube channels in this video just to show you how it works and let's get started okay so this one is one of my spanish channels and yes it does work in different languages and this one is connected to my sas master channel it barely started reading the comments that it needs to respond to and i'm going to give you an idea how this works now the first set of process is to get started in the learning phase now in the learning phase is where we are going to connect our channels currently these are the supported channels so you got facebook instagram TikTok, linkedin uh, Google reviews and YouTube in the future threads is coming X and Snapchat. So you can connect to these channels. You're going to get a list of all the comments available and you'll be able to respond to these in a manual form or an automated form. Okay. And you also have the option to add additional sources to help you respond to these comments. So let's just say that you are a lawyer or you are a pediatrician or whatever. You can add your website. You can add documents that help you respond to the comments easily. Now, be aware that you don't have to do this automatically. You can do this manually just in case you want to be careful to what you are going to respond to. OK, and once you set that up and depending on the plan that you're on, you'll get access to custom instructions for brand and custom tags for this branding. That means that you can give it additional instructions like, hey, don't do too many emojis. Uh, keep the conversation at a certain level. Be professional, be fun, be realistic, etc. In this case, I've added it in, in, in Spanish to be interesting and consider that I am 40 years old. So, hey, don't talk like a child. Don't talk like I'm 17 or 20. I'm 40 and make the comments, the, the automated responses or the responses that you are going to uh, give me to be at a 40 year old level. All right. So that helps me out with that. All right. Now, once you connect it and you set your sources here, you'll be able to start responding to comments. In this case, let me go ahead and jump into this other channel where it's English and I'm going to go to comments and I'm going to select this one right here. So the first thing you're going to see is a full list of comments that need to be responded and the comments that you have already responded over here. Now, on the right, you'll get different settings depending on the platform that you're going to respond. So if this was connected to Facebook, I get different options like like, uh, dislike and other options right here where I can respond. In this case, it's YouTube. So I only get the trash this and the response option here. Now, I get three responses that I can trigger here to send right away. Now, these are suggested based on the settings that I've set up. So the documents that I've uploaded, the websites, et cetera, where it's going to grab details and it's going to be the way it's going to respond. So in this case, I can go ahead and send this off and respond right away. I can go ahead and edit this right away if I want to and send it off with the editing. So as I mentioned before, if you're a lawyer or a pediatrician or a doctor, et cetera, and you want to make sure you want to tweak that uh, response, you can do so right here. So you're going to get an overview of the comment that is suggesting for you and you can tweak it even further or if it's good to go go ahead and send it off the idea of replying is to understand how you respond and it's going to learn from those responses from the past and the future ones so each time it's going to get better and better with the suggested responses that you're going to get now you have three available options you can send any of these off and if you want to redo the responses here go ahead and click on the refresh right here and it's going to give you three new responses that you can use for this so it's a super easy way to do this. Now, this is doing it manually. Well, semi manually, but because you're getting the ideas, but this would be my best second choice from doing it manually manually to this because you also have the option to do this, do this automated. But in this case, this is a great option to use. It's kind of manual. You get to edit the response. You get to modify it a bit or choose which one you want to send off and respond to your fans or customers. So it's a great option there. Now, if you want to automate the process, that is possible too in Reply. 
there's automations available here. Now you can create manual automations or you can use templates available here, which are the ones that are most commonly used. Now, for example, I can send an email notification for pricing questions. So if there's a pricing question in the comments, then email notify me so I can manually take care of this person, which is a good idea, right? Answer all Facebook comments automatically. Maybe you don't want to take care of those manually. You can automate those, but do respond manually to the, the YouTube ones, the Instagram ones, etc. So you get the option there. Uh, don't interact with person if it's tagged with um, hide spam against brand, brand comments. So it'll automatically hide it if there's something going on there. If it's fishy, if it's spam, etc. go ahead and hide it. And you can create your, your own automations. Now, in this case, I created two automations for my channel, which would be, for example, if the sentiment is positive, go ahead and like the comment. It's not going, it's not going to respond to it, but it will like the comment. And it's a good idea. I mean, giving that like thumbs up is a good idea. And then I also wanted to notify me if the sentiment is negative. So send me, send me an email if you think that it's a negative comment so I can definitely take care of it manually. I'm not going to rely on the automated replies. I'm going to do this manually, all right? And I can create more automations by clicking the, the automation process. And basically it works like the conditional logic. If this happens, then do that, all right? So in this case, give it a name, a trigger automation once per user. So don't do this repetitive. It depends on your use case. And then what do you want it to do? And you have several available options here to trigger this automation. So first AI suggestion, then do this. If it comments with the tag, do this. If the sentiment, which is what I use, for example, you got the option to use sentiment positive, neutral or negative. And depending on that, do something. And there's several options that you have available to do different automations, even on post ID username. So if you have a specific username, you could do something with that. If there's a common in text inside of there, for example, if it contains and I'll say, uh, I don't know, maybe this was a bad word or different bad words. I can add more right here, then do something. So what am I going to do? I can wait a certain time here or make it random, which would be the best option. So they don't look automated. And then what am I going to do? Is it going to hide the comment? Is it going to like the comments? going to mark on it. And you got all these available options here. You can even block the user. So if the person is just saying bad words, you can go ahead and block the user, which would be Maybe a good idea, maybe not, depending on your use case, but you get the option here to automate with this, which is super flexible. It really takes your semi-automated process to a different level. Now, as I mentioned before, right now, maybe you have a few comments, which is totally fine, but maybe you jump on the train with TikTok. I know TikTok is super uh, popular, and if you have a really good subject, people are going to start commenting and having a good autom semi-automated and automated a system for your comments response is a great option. Why? Because sometimes comments just become repetitive or maybe you are incentivizing them to make comments. So comment, uh, I don't know, um, baby, if you want to learn more about this product. So you're going to have an automated trigger already here to respond to that person. If they commented a baby or baby bottle, and you're going to recommend the bottle, you have an automated message that's going to respond to that automatically. So replying is a great option if you ask me, especially if you are in social media and you already have a lot of comments coming in. Now, right now, there's a lifetime deal for replying. So it's definitely a great choice. If you don't want to have a month to month payment, this would be a great deal for you. So it starts off at $59 for the lifetime deal. And this is what you're going to get. So do be aware that this is going to be tied to the light plan. So some of the features won't be available. So custom prompts won't be available there. Uh, uh, custom tagging won't be there also, but the rest of the features are practically there. So you get these amount of comments per month, which could be a whole lot or not. I mean, maybe if you are, if you don't have a lot of budget right now, go for the $59 plan and go ahead and use this for 350, 350 comments and then respond to the next ones manually. But at least you get, you save some time with the first comments. But if you have the budget, jump into plan two or three. They're practically the same, but the amount of comments and the amount of brands that you can connect to will be limited. Brands means that you can connect, for example, one brand, you can connect all your platform, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, etc., in each brand. So having more brands would help you be more flexible. In my case, I have my Spanish brand and then I have my English brand, which separates things, which would be a good option. And there's no API cube required, which is uh, good or good and bad. So no. It's not required because you can use the amount of comments available here, 
but it also limits you if you hit that limit then you can add your key manually to keep on using it so do consider that when you're buying the ltd do buy the one that uh, fits your needs or at least almost fits your needs and start using it right away so it's super easy to use start using it right now and it's basically going to help you with your comments right away so go ahead and check out replying the link we provided in the description which is in the affiliate link so if you buy through that link it helps me out with a small commission and it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it already says there so definitely take advantage of the ltd right now and that's a wrap for replying